Hi! Welcome back to Pieces to Our Past. I'm Judy. I'm Haley. And this is Bob. It's Naked Bob. <laughs> he decided to take his costume off. It was getting a little stanky. <laughs> uh oh. She's gonna get the giggles. No. Okay, calm down. Deep breath. Don't laugh. This is Bob. That's Bob. Bob is a we don't know what Bob is, so. He can't fly now. He's not a. Um, he has magical paws. A he has magical paws. Anyway, welcome to our haul video. Um, we are on a, these, in case you haven't noticed, the last few videos have all been filmed on the same day because we have so much that it's, we wanted to get through to share with you all. And 4 H is starting, so we've been kind of busy. So we've got a lot going on. Um, out of five nights this week, we have 4-H meetings on three of them. So, trying to get this stuff done, and schoolwork, and horsework, and barn work, and housework, and listing. I need more hours in the day. So anyway, here we are. Um, as I mentioned to you in a previous video, my husband had the chance to go to an auction, which he really, 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 really enjoyed. Um, he spent a whole $11, and he brought back some really cool stuff. Um, we're going to share some of that with you today. Um, the first thing that Haley's got is this trinket box, um, or jewelry box. It, uh, I'm not sure, I think it's silver plated. Um, it says on the bottom, uh, quadrille plated or something like that. I'm not quite sure what that means. Quadrille plate. Quadril plate. So I have to research that and find out what that is. It's not in the greatest condition. Um, it does have um, monogram on the top, which I think is a WR. That's what it looks like to me. Mm. Um, it's not in the greatest of condition. Um, the inside is all scratched up. Um, it was well used. It was very well used. Um, I probably will not put this up on eBay. Um, I don't think it's in good enough condition to sell. Unless somebody out there is interested in it, let me know um, and we can work a deal. Um, but I really don't think I'm going to put this up on eBay. I'll probably just, it'll go in the donation box. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But um, I'm sure it has some good history to it. I just wish it was in better condition. It's a shame. Also in one of the box lots that he got was this antique lock. Um, there's no key. Uh, it's not marked in any way that I can see. Um, I haven't done any research on it. I don't know if they made reproductions of these. I don't know how to tell if it's real or not. So if anybody out there has any information on that, that you know, please let me know. I was going to take some pictures of it and throw it up on Jocelyn's face, uh, Facebook group and see if anybody up there could give me some information about it because that's way, way out of my wheelhouse. Um, next. This, however, is in my wheelhouse. <laughs> um, as you can see, this was in box lot 400. Um, it is a ginger jar. It does have its lid. I don't know why Haley took it off. But so that it, doesn't fall off? Well, there. It does have its lid. It is heavy as all heck. Even the lid's heavy. <laughs> um, very, very pretty. Um, I'm assuming that this was transfer wear and then they painted it. Um, that's what it kind of looks like to me, but as Sue says on the videos, they did a decent job staying within the lines on this one. Um, I have to do some more research on it. I, um, Like I said, this stuff that he got at the auction has just been sitting off to the side. What does it say on the bottom? Take a little... Made in Japan. Let me see. And there's the stamp. So I might be able to get some history on it by tracing the back stamp. Um, 
I know when they're in different colors, it's from different times. And But it's a beautiful, beautiful little ginger jar. Um, the colors are spectacular, and the weight of it makes me think that it's, you know, not Pier 1. Uh, this vase has no markings at all, but I love the shape of it. It's very different. I've never pumpkin seen shape. It's pumpkin-y shape, yes. Um, and I love the color. I like blue. Um, a lot of people like blue. I haven't really looked at it that closely. Looking at it now, it's got either paint or something on the front of it. I hope that's not a scratch. Mm. Like that? Yeah. It looks like that's just dot or something. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to yeah, clean it. Yeah, I think it. it's just like dot from being used. Okay, I haven't had a chance to clean this one yet. But I love the shape of it. Um, I'm going to do some research on it, see if I can uh, find out who made it. Um, but it's just a pretty, pretty blue vase. I think that's really nice. And that was in one of his box lots that he got. And is that all we have from the auction? Oh, no, the the box. Something um, light. <laughs> <laughs> Something light. Um, this is, um, I believe, made in Japan. Um, it's got Japanese characters on it. It is a black lacquer box. It's in excellent condition. Um, it's... It's just really pretty. I love the colors on this one. Some of them, the colors can be really, really bright. This one is very muted. And then it's got this beautiful, I think this, I don't know what kind of flower that is. But it's pretty. I like pretty it. Pretty flower. So, um, don't look at the dirt. I haven't had a chance to clean it yet. But that was also in the box lot. So that will eventually make its way up onto eBay, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, we live in Florida, and... Back in the day, uh, there used to be a place called Church Street Station in Orlando. And it was a nightlife um, district that um, this gentleman developed to kind of mesh with the daytime kitty activities of Disney World. And then the adults had a place to go at night. There were different restaurants and bars and dance clubs and things like that and this is a mug it says Church Street Station Orlando Florida on the one side and I believe the other side is the Cheyenne Saloon yes Cheyenne Saloon an opera house I'm not sure but I think that that is still there I have to research it a little bit more Church Street Station as we knew it is gone um, when Disney opened up Pleasure Island back in the 80s, it kind of um, took a lot of Church Street's uh, business away from it because it was Disney's nighttime venue for adults. And then Universal turned around and they opened City Walk, and that was the final nail in Church Street's coffin. So um, this is a nice, heavy goblet. I Very mean, it heavy. is heavy. It's probably two over two pounds. It's going to be a three pound ship. It was one fifty. Yep. And then uh, there was this one there. Fifty cent. This was also from the same. I guess the same collector dropped these off. This is Church Street Station, and on the back of this one is Apple Annie's. I don't know if that is still there or not, um, but I will do some research on that. This is a really nice goblet or wine glass actually. Um, it's 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 a nice souvenir cup. It really is for somebody who remembers Church Street Station in its heyday. Um, it was a lot of fun, but Pleasure Island was better. <laughs> and now that's gone. <gasps> Does anybody out there remember the Adventurers Club? Okay, come on, say it with me, Congaloosh. <laughs> Please. Somebody comment below if you remember the Adventurers Club <laughs> and the Colonel and Pamelia Perkins. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> it's been a long day and it's only one o'clock. Um, Hubby picked this up. Um, I have not researched this one either. Um, I think it is an open sugar bowl. It doesn't look like it ever had a lid because usually when something has a lid, it's got scratches on around the edges, and this does not. 
It is um, really pretty. I love it. I love the color. It's off-white. It's that ivory color. And it says on the bottom, on the bottom. <sighs> Good help is so hard to find. It says Lee Wear, Lee Potteries. Um, I have to research this. It says made in the USA, so. Um, warranted 22 karat gold. Um, and it's got a patent number on it. So I will look all that up and maybe get back to y'all on that find, when I find out what it is. I'm sorry I haven't done the research on this stuff, but we've got so many cool things I want to share with y'all. This is another piece Hubby picked up. This is transferware. It is, he thought it was hand-painted. I do not think it is hand-painted. I'm pretty sure it's transferware. It doesn't look hand-painted. No. Um, it's a very, very pretty reticulated bowl. I love the lace, the open lace design of the edge. It's got gold trim. Um, the only marking on the back is that it was made in Germany. That's the only marking. And on the this, it like at each little spot where it crosses, it has little dots that are made. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a beautiful piece. Very, very well made. Um, nice, heavy piece. It's not. It, it can take some some uh, use on it. Not too heavy, though. No, but it's not light. Going to fall apart either. Yeah. Next, this is Poppy Trail by Metlocks. It is the Lottie pattern. Um. This was the only thing that was at Goodwill. It was the cup and the saucer. There were no other pieces. But there were a lot of teacups that day. So I have a funny feeling it was somebody's teacup collection. And I normally don't have... I normally don't buy teacups. I don't buy the sets. But the color of this and the shape of it just got to me. And I had to get it. Um, it is vintage. It is up on eBay already. Um, uh, it's... It's just really, really pretty. If anybody out there collects teacups, this is a, this is a nice one. Although I think that would be a coffee cup. I think that's a little big for a teacup. Ah, this was also part of getting suckered into a two for ninety nine thing at Wal at Walmart. Oh my god! <laughs> at Goodwill. Anyway, um, I found this, which I really love because I love Coco Pelli. Um. This is a um, souvenir mug from Arizona. It has Coco Pelli on it, and on the inside, it has a little gecko. And the colors on this mug are so vibrant, and it's a nice size mug. It's it's twenty. It's got to be sixteen to twenty ounces, probably sixteen ounces. It's a really nice size mug. It's brand new. It's never been used. Um, I'm glad I found it because I really, really like it. Turn it so they can see the designs on the whole thing. On this side, it's got a cactus with the sun, and then there's another cactus, and then there's another gecko, and then there's Coco Pelli, having himself a grand old time. So that's that mug. Yes, I'm mug crazy lately. Okay, who's ever traveled I-95 from New York, metropolitan area, or the Northeast down to Florida? How many of you have stopped at south of the border in South Carolina? Come on. You've all seen the signs. You've all seen the billboards. Um, this is a mug from south of the border. I don't think it's old. I think it's rather new. Um, this was also a 4 for 99 deal. Um, and there's Pedro. And if any of you remember traveling I-95 to get to Florida, you'll remember the dozens and dozens and dozens of billboards with their horrible, horrible puns on them about south of the border. South of the border used to be really, really cool. Um, I, I haven't been there in years because when we moved to North Carolina, we didn't go that way anymore. We went, I, we went 85 to 28 or something like that and then cut across. And of course, now being in Florida, we're just less than two hours from Mickey's house. So, um, but I have heard that it's gone downhill a little bit. Um, but this is a great souvenir cup for anybody who remembers it and just wants that little bit of um, nostalgia on their shelf. 
Next. Is this the last thing? Yes. What? You sound happy. I'm <gasps> You sound happy. You don't like doing videos for the people yes, anymore. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're so mean. Eh, no, I'm not. Okay. This piece. This is bone china. You can tell it's bone china just by looking at it. Hold it up to the light and you can see through it. It is a beautiful, beautiful cup. Um, it is, I don't remember what it says on the bottom. It is David Michael China, Staffordshire, fine bone of China, made in England. Um, I don't think it's okay, terrible. Okay, that's fine. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I don't different. think it's terribly old. It is transferware. It, I don't think it's hand painted. Um, but it is just beautiful. It was sitting on the shelf. I think I paid 50 cents for it, which blew me away. The thing is gorgeous. Um... Oh, I know what we can show that we haven't shown on camera yet. Give me a sec, folks. Haley, entertain the people. Bob. No, not <laughs> Bob. <laughs> really? Bob. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Staffordshire. Okay, we got these at the Humane Society. They are already up on eBay. Um, this is a set of Staffordshire China porcelain. China, Staffordshire is not porcelain, it's China, right? Those are screw-on earrings. And then here's the brooch. Look at this absolutely beautiful there is one tiny break on this one i believe i had to search for it it's, oh, on, I see. it's on, the leaf. on the leaf yep but it is absolutely beautiful absolutely <laughs> and um we found these sitting in the case they are in their original boxes they're right next to the necklace oh, the necklace she wants so bad it's a mole a blue mermaid. Like my two favorite things. Okay, I'll have to put that in the lid. We'll show them the lid of that. Denton, China, I guess it is. They're both in their original boxes. That's the one set. And then this is the other set. Staffordshire Floral Bone China. Yeah, they're Bone China. And this one, the earrings are pink. And they're screw-on backs. And then here's the pin for this one. And this one is perfect. There's no breaks on this one at all. Um, I have these on eBay in a lot together. Um, I think I have them at $18 plus shipping for... I'll put them... You got it? Okay. Um, I think I have them at $18 plus shipping for the two. Um, they are at, they're just gorgeous. They're probably from the 60s, I would think, judging by the, the backs of the jewelry. <coughs> Excuse me. But I just wanted to share those with y'all. I had posted pictures of those um, on Jocelyn's Facebook group, and um, I just thought they were so pretty. And there's the boxes. Um, the price tag still on this one. Is it really? Yeah. I have to take the price tag off. I paid three dollars a set for those. So, here's Bob again. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us again today uh, on another one of our crazy, so not professional videos. Where is, what are you doing with Freddie? He gets to say bye today. Oh, Freddie gets to say bye. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> um, so that's it. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell for notifications. Check out the links to our eBay store in the comments below. And check out the link to our Facebook group, which um, I have a special going on in there. Salt and Pepper Shakers, $5 a set plus shipping. 
and my shipping is very reasonable because I only charge exact shipping. So, everybody have a great day. Bye. Freddie says bye. Toodles.